Welcome everyone. Just remember before we get started, if you want to download the project links, it will be down below in the description. Just all you got to do is enter your email and it's completely free. Welcome back everyone. Uh, in this video, we'll be continuing our tile map. So uh, in the last few videos, we have been setting up a lot of gameplay. So we have our player and our monster set up. Uh, most things are relatively finished. There's a little bit more to finish, uh, but so far we've done quite a bit. Now let's beautify our world a little bit because uh, this doesn't really look very good and uh, you know it's kind of plain and boring so okay we're gonna set up our tile map now in order to do this it's pretty simple but uh, a lot of it is just kind of a know-how so try to follow along as best as we can here so our tiles are going to be 32 by 32. now that is just the size of our tiles now we're going to create a new tile set click the tile set now the tile size we're again going to do 32 by 32. Now we're gonna click this guy. Well, actually we don't have to click it because it pops up right here. Now we have two tabs. We have tile set and tile map. Now, what are what is the difference? Think of tile set as where we edit all the tiles. This is where we build uh, physics and stuff and something called auto map, uh, tiling, stuff like that. And then tile map is where I actually use the tiles onto my game and I can paint my world, okay? so we're going to edit it and use our tile set, right? So let's head over to the tile set. Now let's go to the uh, world pack here. And we're going to put two things. Uh, one is going to be an animated uh, water and one is going to be for the ground. So uh, let's head over to the tile sets and I believe it should be this one. So we'll drag this one in. And then we're going to uh, bring in, not that one, this one. Okay, now for the auto tiling, this is going to be Pretty easy, but also somewhat difficult at the same time. So we actually have a tile guide here, which tells us uh, our auto tiling, but we'll try to go through this together a little bit. So that way you understand how auto tiling works. Now, in order to auto tile, we need to go to terrain set, add element, go to terrains, add element, and then we can add another element for uh, a different one. So this one could be uh, grass and the other one can be water over here water and we can even change the color of it so we can go bluish maybe like that for the water and then the grass we can keep greenish and there we go now if we head over to the tile the map and go to the terrains we can now see these two but there's nothing in here so we're going to want to fill things in now in order to do this in the tile set we'll go to paint so, uh, select and we'll go to terrains terrain set zero and then select which one we want. And right now we're gonna do grass. So let's go into this guy. Now we can see here that I can start drawing onto these guys. So I'm gonna select all the ones that I'll need, which are gonna be the outer uh, tiles, okay? Like so. Okay, so now we can see here that this one, I just wanna put one here. And if you accidentally right uh, click, you can right click and get rid of one here like this. And we're just gonna kind of follow along what the uh, this guide kind of shows. And it's actually pretty simple. We just have to draw a uh, square like this. Now, the middle one, we're just gonna do like this. Don't worry about these other ones. Uh, if you try to do this, I think the engine will actually just randomize it and it gets kind of weird and it doesn't blend properly. So do make sure that we only have one of these filled in completely. Okay, so now if we go to our grass, we should be able to just start drawing. And it looks quite nice actually. Now, a quicker way to do this is if we select our rectangle, we can just zoom out here and just select a large area. This can be our, well, world. And of course, we can uh, remove some areas and just kind of put some grass like this. And uh, it looks quite easy like that. Okay, so now we'll do the water. So, okay, what we want is in the tile set, we'll head over to the animated tile set here. And let's set up the animated tile first. Uh, and then I might link you a animated tile set if you wanna animate this yourself later. So uh, I do have a separate video where I show you this exact tile set on how to animate a tile set. So it'll use this exact same one and it shows you how to uh, animate the tile set itself and have auto tiling. So uh, I'm just gonna use auto tiling. And in fact, you can actually try this yourself and guess and try to do it yourself. Um, because this one is a little different. Well, it's different, but it is also the same idea. So let's do this together. Let's select all of these guys. Oops, we don't want that one. 
Okay, now in order to do this, the general idea, usually looking at a tile set, if you look at like this one, for example, you have tiles over here on the left hand side. And then similarly over here, we just have tiles over here and here. And then this one, we would have the same thing, but we already have that. So we don't actually need to draw this one. And you can actually notice that these two are different, I believe, just slightly. So this one has a little more uh, things, corals, I guess. So they are different, so you can just pick whichever one you like. All right, so now we can just do this. We can do this one. This one is one tile over here, one tile over here, one tile over here. Uh, and this one is the bottom, the right. And then we have one on the right-hand side like that. And we'll need one of these like so. Okay, so this should actually be it. Uh, so let's go to the tile map and see if we can draw with this. Okay, so this doesn't look right. I do believe we actually need to create one for the middle, so that would make more sense. Okay, let's try now. Okay, this doesn't look too as bad as before, but it doesn't look like we're doing something right. Okay, so uh, we are doing it right, but the it's kind of getting messed up because it's on the same layer. Okay, so what we'll do is we're gonna zoom out here and delete everything. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create uh, several layers. We're going to create two layers because we only, I only need two for this tutorial, but of course you can, you know, make as many as you want, right? Okay. Now outside of this tile set, if we go to layers, we can add a layer here and that's it. And that's, it's as easy as that. Now the background, uh, we can kind of do grass and so in the sense of background and the second one, we can do water. However, there's more to it than just this. In fact, you can actually see something called the Z index. And of course, you can always switch the positions of these, but these don't matter. And I'll show you why. So let's go to the grass layer and, well, draw some grass. So let's draw a bunch of grass and let's select the water tile, go to the wire water layer and draw some well, water. Maybe we'll try to make it a little more uh, special in a sense of putting it like this. Okay, so we do have some bugs here. It seems we have... Uh, Let's go to the tile set and see if we can fix this. Uh, tile set. Okay, we don't seem to have the right hand side like that. That is why we didn't, uh, we were getting a little problem. So we have this one already right there and we didn't have this one. And we do already have one of these, so we can actually remove this one. And okay, now that should work properly. So let's head back to the water. Uh, and now we should get some proper tiling. There we go. Okay, so that's our lake. Uh, maybe we'll put a little hole in the middle there. Like so, and there we go. Okay, now uh, if I exit the tile map, this is what it looks like, and it looks quite nice. It looks like it blends in together. But, okay, in our tile map, uh, let's take, go out of our tile set. In the layers themselves, if I change the Z index of the water to be in the front, or uh, in the back, I believe, now, well, you don't see it at all. So you can probably imagine that the Z index of the water will want to stay above the grass, right? Now, if you're wondering what Z index is, we're not going to do anything in 3D, but think about a 3D world. Usually you have the X and Y, right? So over here, you can see the X and the Y, right? X and Y. And then we have the Z index, which is this one. Now, if I put something over here and then I put something over here and I'm trying to look at them, well, I would see the one that I put in front of it first, right? Because in a 3D world, that's how it works, right? In, in fact, let's say you put a hand in front of your screen right now, you would see the hand before you see the computer, right? It's the same idea. So the Z index works the exact same way. All right, so that is pretty much it for the tile map. Um, we want to now actually do physics layer. Now this one's a little easier. So let's head to the tile set, go to physics layer, add element. And yeah, that's it. So now we can actually paint our uh, collisions by going to paint terrains or set of terrains, we're going to select the physics layer. And now this is actually quite easy, we're just going to select uh, this one because that's the main water. And in each of these, I would recommend adjusting uh, each of these like this, for example, and just selecting one of these like that. Uh, and then you know, kind of adjusting the collision shape for each one uh, accordingly like that, etc. So that is how you would paint all of these and uh, it would look a lot nicer like that. So 
I'm not going to actually have collision for the borders. I'm only going to have it for the middle one. Uh, and now if I play and I have collision shape on and I hit play and I go over here, we can now see that the collision is inside. Now, there is a problem though. What is that problem? Well, you probably would have noticed is that the tile map is in front of our player and I no longer see the player. Now, to fix that, we actually just take our tile map and make it on the very back. So now you might have noticed or learned that the ordering of these uh, of the nodes actually matters. Now, technically, we could override that using something called a Y sort, uh, but we're not going to really touch Y sort much in this uh, course or series. So if you want to learn more about it, you can definitely search it up. Uh, I might have some videos on it. Um, just search it up on, on YouTube or whatever, and you might learn quite a bit about it. But it is similar to uh, Z index. It's just a little different. So other than that, uh, I believe that's actually it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, that was it for this uh, lecture or this course or this video. Sorry, we're not done the course just yet. We have still quite a bit to do in the next one. Uh, I'm not actually quite sure what we'll do, but I guess you will find out. huh? So I will see you all in the next uh, video.